All right, this is day number six of typing the entire Bible. We are typing chapter seven of Matthew today. Here's our current stats. We've typed this many words, over 3,400. And um, basically we have uh, typed 155 verses. Those are the biggest ones. Obviously we've typed six chapters. Here's the graph that looks like this so far. This is where that glitch happened. So that's not really, you know, relevant. Uh, that happened during chapter four, I believe. So yeah, we're gonna get right into it though with chapter seven today of Matthew. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys have a blessed day and let's read and type some scripture. Here we go, let's get started. Judge not that you be not judged. Okay, that translation is, it is English Standard Version. Okay, I thought it wasn't there for a second, but it is, I was mistaken. But for with the judgment, you, you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is the log in your own eye. You hypocrite. First, take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Do not give dogs what is holy and do not throw your pearls before pigs lest they trample them underfoot and turn to attack you ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock and it will be opened to you for everyone who asks receives and the one who seeks finds and to the one who knocks it will be opened or which one of you if his son asks him for bread will give him a stone or if he asks for a fish will give him a serpent if you then who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him so whatever you wish that others would do it to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction, and those who enter by it are many. For the gate is narrow and the way is hard that inward that leads to life and those who find it are few beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly are ravenous wolves you will recognize them by their fruits are grapes Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? So every healthy tree bears good fruit, but the diseased tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into 
the fire. Thus, you will recognize them by their fruits. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But the one who does the will of my Father, who is in heaven, on that day many will say to me, What the heck? Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then will I declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his, built his house on the rock, and the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house. But it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came and the winds blew and the beat against that house and it fell and great was the fall of it and when jesus finished these sayings the crowds were astonished at his teaching for he was teaching them as one who had authority and not as their scribes. So it says average words per minute, 106. That's definitely not true. So I don't know what's happening there. But let's go ahead and review here. We had one super streak, 23 streak, 602 words, 89 accuracy, and 106 words per minute. That's definitely a little weird. But yeah, this is really cool. It's talking about one of Jesus' biggest sermons. And it's really cool because it talks about, you know, listening to the words of Jesus. And if you do, you're basically building a house on a rock rather than sand. But if you listen and if you listen to what he says and basically ignore it, then, yeah, it's like you're building a house on sand. And then when floods come, your your house just gets knocked over. So very cool stuff. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.